This video will cover the topic multiplying binomials with the leading coefficients of 1 using the distribution technique. Let's break it down. To multiply two binomials using distribution, we first distribute the first binomial to both terms in the second binomial, and then simplify each of these new terms using distribution. This is not the only technique for doing this, but it will work every time. A binomial is what we call two terms added together or subtracted. For example, w plus 2 is a binomial, and w minus 8 is also a binomial. So what happens if we want to multiply these two binomials? Normally when we're dealing with parentheses, we would simplify what's inside of them first before we multiply because of order of operations. However, we can't do this when there are unknown variables inside, so we use distribution. We're going to distribute this whole parentheses here to both of these terms in our second binomial. It's going to give us an answer that looks like this. Here, I've multiplied w plus 2 times w, and I've multiplied w plus 2 times minus 8. Our next step to simplify this further is to distribute this w to each term inside of this parentheses, and this minus 8 to each term inside of this parentheses. This gives us w squared plus 2w minus 8w minus 16. It's important to remember that when we distribute this 8 here, we're also distributing this minus sign with it, which is why this becomes minus 8w and minus 16, because 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. Finally, we can simplify this a little bit more by combining these middle two terms. And our final answer is w squared minus 6w minus 16. How come I can't combine w squared and minus 6w? They both have w in them. We can't combine w squared and minus 6w even though they both have w's because the w's in this term and this w are raised to different exponents, so they're not considered like terms. So this is expression is as simplified as it can get. So to multiply two binomials using distribution, we first distribute the first binomial to both terms in the second binomial, and then simplify each of those terms using distribution. Right. This is not the only technique to do this, but it will work every time. 